Hey guys, welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. Um, haven't done much since last. Well, I've done some. I started the sugarcane farm so we can make more books for the bookshelves, for the enchantment room, and I also built what I'm gonna call the first floor of the farm. I did have to kill a lot of creepers to get the TNT to build this, but it goes all the way down there, and I'm gonna do it again underneath. But I don't really want to jump across right now because I start destroying it all. Let's see if I can just shimmy around there. There we go. Um, I broke a hole down here. Yeah. As you can see, I destroyed quite a bit of the floor beneath it as well. There's a ravine down here. So when I get loads of smooth stone, I'm just gonna like flatten it, flatten this out, and then have loads of different floors go down to the bottom floor of just like wheat and stuff. We and when I finally get some carrots and potatoes, I'll have uh, quite a lot of food actually. From that, and hopefully, this doesn't destroy the crops. No. Um, other than that, I have made what's it called the I managed to get some animals back here using the wheat from that farm. There, um, I got two cows and two pigs and made the pigs, I haven't made the cows yet. That was the last of my wheat. I had in my inventory and they're down here. And I brought some chickens back as well because we've got loads of chicken eggs. They've got grass so when I shear them they can um bring back the thing. Got got a baby pig over there. And two pigs. Got the chickens. No. And I've actually got four eggs from that side as well. We can just launch them to the back of that. We've got two cows from that snow biome. They were the absolute piss to get back. Especially when they don't even like notice that you've got wheat in your hand and you're standing right in front of them. <sighs> um, but other than that, um, let me use the wheat in my hand right now. <coughs> and it's sideways. Um, so I've got the sugar cane farm outside. Um, like. So it's spread all over the place, like all the water is around there. Um, but I'm going to bring it in to here. To so um, it's closer and more compact and doesn't look as bad in the outside environment. I'll go up and show you it all now. Um, it is just like spread all over the place. Like I've got some. Just out here in the first infinite water source I made. Maybe screwed if a creeper catches me in there. Uh, I've got that there, which is where I just got some of the wee um tree came from. And there's some around here which I think is still growing. Yeah, I've got some over here. Which is grown. Um so let me just grab that. And there's some very noisy neighbours. I'm not sure, sure if you can hear them. Um, and there's a lot more which hasn't grown yet because I played that just before I started recording, which is actually all the way, not that there, all the way on the other side of that mountain near where the deep water is. The sea, sorry, deep water. Sea. Um. So yeah. Um. What else is there? That's actually about it. I have been working more on the um, getting the animals back. I still need to get rid of all this. I'm going to get rid of that. And um, that's my next priority to get rid of all that long grass. Um, so it's a lot better looking. Like I don't like long grass in the plains, but it's all that areas. But it does drop seeds, which is good. I do need quite a bit of seeds. I've only got five left, I think. I'm not sure if I've got any left in my chest. Um, but this should be enough for one bookshelf, I think. Um, there's six, seven, five left, so we'll have one more. Okay, that's 24 paper. 24 is. Oh, eight as well. Yeah. Just in that go. And so we've got enough for. Okay, so we've got nine books now. Um, what do we need? What do we need? Let's make a bookshelf of wood. We've got plenty of wood ish. 
Well, I really do not like the new bookshelf recipes. Too much for just bookshelves. I mean, sure they help you with better enchantments, but it's just so hard to get them. Okay, so we've got three bookshelves. And I've got the librarian achievement. Okay, so there we go. Let's see what type of enchantment it gives out now. Nine's the highest it gives out. Oh, wait, no. So I need to boost it up some more then. Um, but yeah, other than that. Okay, so we've got three bookshelves, that's cool. We've got that. Uh, we've got our farm on the go. Which is going on pretty well. Just need to start. How the hell did the chicken egg get out here? What the hell? That's a phenomenon. Move from the gate. Oh my god, I think it got out as well. No chicken. But you can die. You're gonna have to, you got out. Ah, some chicken. I mean, why can't you be like the pigs who stay at the back? The cows who just wander around. Okay, so the sheep are happy. I might give, uh, I might get some more grass and dirt uh, in the empingy just for the aesthetics. So, put this down. Cook up some steak. Put some chicken. Um, what do we do with blaze? We actually need that for the ender eyes. I'm actually going to put that in there. Just because it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Um, I've got two sugar cane left. Sugar cane again. I really need a storage room. That's also what I'm going to be working on next. Getting a storage room. Got the farm room down there. A nether portal there. Speaking about the nether portal, actually. Maybe we can do something like at the doorway. I always use iron pickaxes normally instead of using my enchanted stuff. Mm. Um, where's my flint and steel gone? Where is it? Where's my flint? There it is. Flint of steel. The king of all steel and flint. I'm gonna use iron for it and steel. Break this as well. I'm just gonna break it all over this. And place down some more never rack. Just to add to the fact that it is going into the nether. And that zombie pigman could wander through at any time and start beating the crap out of them. Nah, that's not too good, does it? It's never rack out of it. Never rack this all up. You can't really see through the portal, can you? So I don't really need to change that. Oh, that's pretty cool. But now I've got to go. <coughs> now I'm going to collect it when you go back through. Um, Makes it more nevery, doesn't it? Get rid of that. <coughs> and there we go, we've got our own like, awesome nether port place. Um, let's see where I, I'm gonna go and find where I can sell the um, storage room. It could be down one of these passages actually. <coughs> sorry about that, I've got a really bad cold. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I might put it down here. This is something really. A massive cave down here. That'd be annoying. Uh, this is why I don't build on camera. It takes so long to mine. <coughs> I need an efficiency. Like 
four or five pickaxe. But for that, I need to actually get. Actually, I'm going to save that for later. Just for the light versus. Oh dear. I need to say I need to actually work on that zombie spawner I found back in the first ever episode. Wow, can you hear that? Someone's sneezing. Um what do you need? Buckets of water. I need more than that. Where's my iron? I can grab some water from it on the way up. Pull it on the way up. Really, I need an infinite water source down here, don't I? Oh, I'll go to the front of the um. So much easier building the um wheat farm because I had the giant waterfall next to it, so. <sighs> but I don't want to run through all the way there just to get water. Um, okay, it's dark. It's a bad idea to go out there right now. I have to change this so it looks a lot more smooth type thing. More aesthetics pleasing. Also guys, um don't hesitate to um put like comment on what you think I should build, like <coughs> like a certain type of structure or something, like a building. Um maybe uh like we got a request on um minor challenge co op that we haven't um actually done yet. Which is to build a uh spawn it in the sky so that it's like out of the way but we always know where it is we can always go to it um so we will have to get on that eventually um but we haven't recorded an episode in a while of that so we're working on um uh co-ops no not co-ops sorry single players because we could always do co-op whenever we like but single players harder um in a way, we think um, co-op single player would be easier, but um, I can't explain why it's harder. <laughs> it just is for some reason. Um, okay, so which way is this spawner? Um, I don't even know which cave it was down. I might be wandering around for ages. Let's definitely duck down here. Wait, so I've seen this place before. But I hate these stupid water spout things. Oh, that's useless. Well, that's the way out. God damn it. Okay, here's where. What the hell is there a chicken down here for? One out. Oh, I can't help you, I can't reach. There you go. You always save a chicken you need. No, it wasn't that cave. I think it's, I think it's this one. Was it this one? Here it is. Here, here it is. Okay. <sighs> I haven't made one of these in ages, so I'm not too sure how you make one still. I know you've got to make it, I think it makes one like 7 by 7 or something. Okay, it's not for my diamond one. Oh, that goes any faster, I don't think. Okay, so we're going to move back by two. Um, and once we move it back by two, I might have to con finish this off camera, but it will be finished by the time I come back. As always, guys, leave a like, comment on what you actually think I should build on this world. And I will um thank you for you know requesting it and that.
but you try to reply to every comment moment just recall every comment um we get because we try to be active in um with our subscribers and we'll see you guys in the next episode bye